there is something God has been putting on my heart that I feel I must share. I'm hoping it will encourage others to greater self-examination. I, no, not I, I think everyone knows this in a way, that in the Word of God, isolation is synonymous with preparation. That God takes people out of life and situations and the things that pressure them to stay busy, pressure them to conform to others' expectations in order to forge us into something different. Of course, we are in forced isolation. And I've been trying to consider what I've been doing all these years before the isolation, before the quarantine, the shelter in place. What I've been doing that is just busyness, and what I've been doing that might just be things that are ways of pleasing others and conforming to others' expectations. So I'm going to talk out loud as I think through and analyze some of these questions and invite you to ask yourself the same questions. What is God pointing out with this quarantine? And what is God using the shelter in place to prepare me for, to prepare you for? So first of all, my day and your day was different uh, before the shelter in place began. Uh, most of us went to a job and it filled our day. Um, did not spend nearly as much time at home. There are some exceptions to that. One of the biggest things that has come back into my life that I was not making time for was creating YouTube content. If you fished around a little bit, you will see that I had another YouTube channel several years ago that had similar messages, much longer, um, in the name of transparency, not in the name of self-pity. I will tell you that I grew discouraged. I grew discouraged of not having any proof that I encouraged anybody, any evidence that I had any effect whatsoever. I am, I believe I should do this whether I have human response or not, but I was weaker and I allowed myself to give in to that disappointment. Um, truly, um, like Noah, if God has put something on your heart to do, uh, you should do it. Um, and I didn't receive any negative, I just received silence. But Noah was mocked. Noah was uh, ridiculed for building this boat thing that no one had ever seen. Did not have an idea. Well, why would you build a boat? There's no water on the ground. There's never been rain that you're talking about. Huh? So, I had learned an old time gospel song, um, and I shared it at church, and I was so excited that I started this channel with the intention of putting up that song. And one of my church family, during the pandemic, said, why don't you put more stuff up there? And I could hear the voice of discouragement saying, um, I will just be disappointed again, and I will beat myself up for lack of response. But I did, and you will see that it has been a, a virtually daily part of my life since I began that. Um, I'm uploading at least one message or song.
some cases some kind of testimony. I believe this is second or third testimony like thing. Um, most people don't pay attention to that testimony part, but for those that do that find such matters interesting, you might find it very deep and very enlightening to ask these questions for yourself. So that has been virtually every day. I try not to do Saturday and Sunday. Um, so this is something God has brought back because of the pandemic and because of encouragement from others. Something I loved, something I love that God has put in my heart to do. I have been driven for years to do something. I was a performer for a long, long time. This is not precisely that, but here I am preparing something, presenting it to you. Uh, that's similar. Um, I've had an opportunity to begin volunteering two days a week uh, with an organization, a group of believers really, uh, they're probably less organized than I'm describing it, um, that are donating food during the time of the shelter in place because uh, I believe this has changed since then somewhat, but they've closed the shelters, made them harder to get into, and which is, I don't have an opinion on that, um, and they've uh, close the uh, food banks unless you're a shut-in who has food delivered to them. And so, uh, if you have homeless, and I've heard there's a thousand unsheltered people in Concord at this moment, um, that they're at greater risk than they have been before, um, yes to Corona, but also to actual starvation in a country where um, it used to be very hard to starve. Uh, because there's so much charity and so much abundance and so much waste. Uh, one of my pastors, the senior pastor, has asked me to get involved in videography. And, uh, well, he asked for a person when I volunteered. There were other volunteers, but I said, hey, I do this thing. What he does is much more complicated, and I'm barely treading water with the technology, but it's good to learn, and it's good to be involved in serving. I uh, had a difficult first couple of weeks when, before they decided to involve me in that process, because I didn't want to do online church. I wanted to be there with people, so thank God I am there, uh, which is amazing. And God has given me much more time to rest, much more time to pray. Um, there's this weird nagging feeling that comes with inactivity. I'm not sure if that's my own flesh, my own pride, or if that is uh, God putting on my heart that I need to be ready for the next thing. Um, I have a job that has continued to give me a paycheck, um, despite the fact my job is not the same as it was before, um, which is a very strange thing. So those are things that have flooded into the void of my life that was created by the shelter in place. So ask yourself, what things has God put into the spaces in your life that were opened by this strange era in history that, uh, I guess we're poised for another change, and I uh, suspect it will be different in another way. At the same time, you begin noticing what it is is really lacking in your life and allows you to really identify things uh, that are missing and difficult. Um, I live alone. Um, I am divorced. Um, and so a lot of my time is by myself unless I'm doing that volunteer work or I'm doing the videography. Um, a lot of my time is alone and, and it's fun. Um, 
I used to play board games every week with family members. Um, I used to have the unbelievable honor at the place I worked of being a participant in a Dungeons and Dragons game that occurred almost every lunchtime. And it was this amazing intellectual, creative, abstract interaction that was therapeutic in contrast with various stressful aspects of my job. But it was like an oasis between conflict and bureaucracy, an oasis of creativity and abstract thinking, and really feeling like people got me. Um, I miss those people so much. I have discovered that I have a huge need for deep intellectual conversation, long, deep, interesting conversations about theology or creativity or culture, um, their real science or nature, they're all really meaningful to me. And I took for granted that I was able to get that from uh, some of the people in my workplace that I haven't seen. And a couple of my friends that uh, I get to see once every couple months. Um, for about a week, I got to have lunch with a friend from church uh, that turned into like one to two hours of a really deep, interesting intellectual conversation. Um, not a lot of people have an interest in that kind of conversation. Not a lot of people have the attention span for that kind of conversation. Um, I'm aware that most people would find that taxing and annoying, but that's what goes on in my head. So, I want you to hear these things not as a cry for help or for pity, but God's really made these things clear to me. That if I have to, like, zero down to minimum basic needs for myself as a human being, uh, those are two major things. And uh, if I have blessed you at all, then pray for me. That would be the thing I would request of you, that if I have blessed you at all with the content of this channel, that you would say, in your prayer life, bring that petition to God. That this brother who has encouraged you is in need that God would bring those things into his life. Um, the quarantine has clarified and simplified what I would think of as my needs and the things I have to do on a daily basis or weekly basis. Um, and it's really made certain things seem less important. But those things have been consistently uh, the cry of my heart to be able to have fun with friends and believers uh, that has some kind of an abstract, creative, intellectual quality to it, and conversations that have this deep intellectual the other person's not annoyed by how deep an intellectual a conversation is, sort of thing. I don't know why I'm sharing this with you. It's burning on my heart. And uh, I want to invite you to ask yourself those questions about what God has put into this void and what God has shown you is missing and needs to change. And if God puts it on your heart, I'm asking you to pray for me. If I have blessed you, and you pray for me in all these things. In Jesus' name, amen.